Aloha, Neil again. I thought I'd take a step back tonight and talk a little bit about why I built this module and where it fits in the big picture with the three other modules I already built. How I decided on this railroad, where it goes, and what scale I'm building in, which is a, a choice that everybody seems to have to make at some point or another. The actual railroad ran around underneath the highway, elevated highway here, and into an engine house, and then a spur off to another couple thousand feet beyond down the road where it ended after the route through town terminated, oh, in the mid 90s perhaps. But I, I look forward to doing this highway overpass, the road that cuts under here, known as Cameron Way, and where this is in Western Washington. And I'm hoping to give you a, a feeling of how that might have looked or might look today. And, you know, the, uh, the backdrop, a little maybe overcast sky, not necessarily a sunny day there all the time or often. And so this uh, module will ultimately fit into the other three I've already built. So stay with me while I go and pull up some drawings of Google Maps and how I modified those so I can fit them in the area I have. Three modules that represent a small portion of a yard that existed in Mount Vernon, Washington, up in northwest Washington. It's about 60 miles north of Seattle. It uh, has a small yard and an interchange track that you can see in this photo on the right is the main line and the darker ballast and the interchange track that really cuts right across First Street and joins the little runaround track off to the storage tracks above. I took these images from Google Earth and put them in SketchUp. And drawing out the whole thing is about 22 feet in HO scale or it was about 30 feet in S scale. So I thought maybe if an S scale, I could do this in about 12 feet. That didn't quite work. So I had to add on that two by three foot section in the end. The SW9 for the original railway is being modeled in S scale. I've repainted this shell in decals. So I look forward to getting some switching going on and maybe interchange with the older BN railroad. Today's railway is the BNSF, of course, and the ES44 and the Max 7 or SD70 are pretty cool. Thanks for joining me, and let's model a railroad 10 minutes a day.